I am um, Senator Benga Barrio Ashafa, representing Lagos East Senatorial District, the Nagar Railway uh, Bill 2016, which, with all intent and purposes, was just to unbundle the energy of the rail sector into the private sector and uh, give us the opportunity of uh, a level playing field for private operators to come in. I've been very, very privileged, you know, in the area of uh, the land transport. I have a minister that is uh, very dynamic, is eager to, to ensure that the Western um, rail sector, as well as the Eastern rail sector, the Northern rail sector, all are networked together to ensure free access and cheap access to transportation. Thank God they've started the first arm of it now uh, from the other end, from the eastern part of the uh, other end. The second part of it, that is Lagos can the second phase, which is Lagos in Pardo, had already been launched. Also, work has started, people are seeing it. And the reconcerting effect of this is the fact that along the line of any rail system, communities will be built up. Markets, merchandising, trading, you know, will come on. The economic activities along that area will, you know, be rejuvenated. People doing other forms of transportation. For every stop, you will have the tricycles, you will have the taxis doing their businesses. Businesses that oh, wouldn't have come on board without opening up those roads. You now have investors that have, you know, given Nigeria an image outside that. Come, we are doing this now. You can come in and invest in some other areas. Goods will be easily transported from one place to the other. Pressure will be released. I mean, I mean, will be removed from our roads for the rail system to have, um, you know, move forward. Private investors have to come in. Before now, it has always been government. Investors, private or group or individuals or local governments or even state governments that are buoyant can decide on their own that they want to work. For instance, look at what the Lagos State is doing. They have the red and the blue line. The blue line is almost completed. And for the fact that we've been able to start on this law, that system will be there. They can't run it because there's no law to back it up. You are asking for an investor-friendly environment. You cannot achieve that without having a legislative framework, the appropriate laws to encourage people to come in. So that law now has opened that up. You have companies like the GE and you have the Chinese companies coming in to say, okay, if Nigeria can come up with about 15% of the total cost of you know building this rail from A to B, we will give you a loan that uh, will take out the 85%. That is what we are doing now. 